Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West, where that was ominous. Let's go. They said it was dead, but it's still listed as a as a cauldron on my on my map. So, and it doesn't say like dead cauldron or anything. It doesn't say locked. Ugh, oh, I almost forgot the button. This is the slowest rappel down I've ever seen. Oh. Maybe it is dead. Because I'm, like, right at the core now. But it's got a name and everything. Oh, well, okay. There must be an exit. Look at somewhere. that. Looks like an exit over there. Because this is just the core. Which usually takes ages to get to. Oops. Oops. I did not realize that I was doing that. Could I go down there? There's obviously something powering it down there. I'm just curious if there's anything else to pick up. Last paste. Love it. Okay, so there's like multiple ways to go in this. Oh, it looks like this circles around. Cause that's, yeah, I saw that triangular entrance. Okay, let's, let's circle here. Ooh, let's circle here. See where this, this closes. Interesting. But I can go around the other side, do the triangle. Hmm. That's not what I thought it was. I'm gonna try to go down. I don't know if I can get much further down. Oh, nope, that's death. Listen, they made it all glowy down there. What did they expect me to do? <laughs> they also put Dangneb jumping points in there. I thought it was gonna be a way to get out. <laughs> so this is... Excuse me, this is the triangular entrance. I thought I could maybe mess with, but... Well, apparently I can get up there somehow. Oh, I, I know what I can do. Maybe, well, that's maybe too far. I was like, I can jump off that, but I don't think so. I can obviously get up there somehow. And there's obviously more to this place, because this is what's going on over there. Just one of those, you'll know when you're older, maybe. Made it. That was a long climb. Oh, was it? Okay. Well, all right then. Dang. Really nothing? Okay. That was boring. There's got to be something in there, though. I just don't have the power to unlock it. Before we go gallivanting off, we are going to go finish off this little side quest in the desert. There's all these rebel camps and blah, 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 blah. Let's go ahead and travel. Oops. Oh my gosh, I just shredded. I just destroyed that bird. I did not mean to use a precious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is going on with that bird? 
I just killed a horned lizard. Or as I call them, a horny toad. <laughs> and I got not reprimanded, but uh, <laughs> corrected. They're not called horny toads, they're called horned toads. Also, they're not toads, they're lizards. Oh my gosh, there's a triceratops out here. One of the one of the land gods is just wandering around out here. You can't see those suckers unless you use your X-ray vision. My children don't live out here, so I can't kill any squirrels. Ha ha! Are you guys aggressive? How do I pair the data I have on plow horns before I can override them? Yeah, but consider, what if I blow you up? I think I'm gonna try blowing it up. Come back here, you coward. Oh, it's like sad. It's like running away. Oh, hi! <laughs> I'm just here to pick some stuff up. Woo! Oh, hi. Are you back? Dead animal? Need more. Oh, can't make any more. Sucks to suck. Uh, what was it? Let's try to knock down. No, he's running away, coward. Where's the piece I knocked off of it? I don't, maybe I didn't knock anything off of it. Substantial. Aww, <laughs> poor little dead pig. <laughs> Leave me alone. I just want to take down the plow horn. Totally use a different arrow. There we go. Blast paste. Gotta love it. Hi. Are there any? Yeah, I was like, I knew there was other parts. Machine muscle for the- oh no, I am really running out. I need to hopefully run by a... a 
town and get some machine muscle. Oops. Oh my gosh, I can't craft regular. Those aren't, to be fair, they're not regular arrows. They are precision arrows. I did switch my bow out, though, to the, um... To Kue's bow. No oh, good. no, nope. yep, okay. Yeah, I, I just need a fast travel bag. Let me find, let me grab this campfire. I mean, I'm not that far from the town, but... Instead of using regular arrows, I seem to have committed to these precision ones. Because they fire, these ones are firing fairly quickly and they also do a lot of damage. Well, they do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, I haven't got very far. <laughs> it's fine. I need, just need to go back. Alright, maxed out my echo shells and my machine muscle. And I also already crafted a bunch and then bought more. <laughs> so... Like I crafted a bunch of arrows and then, whoop, and then. Stop with the why, why is everybody against my acrobatics? Oh dang! Well, let's just. Anyway, I hopefully used my resources fairly well. It did take a lot of money though. I'm sure. I don't even think I have my chest here, so I'm sure because I'm sure I've got some in there, but I didn't see. The symbol for my chest. But we can override bristlebacks now. Can we? And ride, and ride them? I, 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 hold on. We gotta test this out. Mount. Off we go. Accelerate. Go, go, go. Oh, oh, I can't drive. This is why I don't actually like writing things very much. <laughs> Look at this! Wait, let's, uh, we have photo mode. Uh, where is it? Nope. Riding a giant boar. <laughs> I didn't realize I could ride it. Uh, I mean, the, the enemies get to ride it, so why not me, you know? Accelerate and break. And then there's like the jump, the square is like jump off and run. Or you jump off while it's running. And you can do melees while you're up here. Oh, I thought I could kill it by running it over. Alas, there's a thunder drop there. Oh no! You know, maybe I should bring machines in to help me fight other machines. I didn't realize this could go this fast. That's cool. Thought it was gonna be like a jog. I did kill something just now. I just ran over something and killed another thing. Killed. Wait, now I'm in like. Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm in like that. Uh, not the alpine reaches, but like what are these lodgepole pines? These aren't pinions or junipers. Hang on, I need to kill a bunny. I know, I need to kill one. Get off. There we go. I need to go kill a bunny. This must be the village Zoka was talking about. Oh, is it? It looks like the whole place flooded. I am busy. Maybe from a recent storm. This is the village? I wonder if anyone made it Whoa. out. Best check around the shore. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, no wonder nobody said anything. They're like, they're like having a drought down there and they're getting flooded out up here. Can anyone hear us? Whoa. Where are you? Hi. We're trapped Ugh. in this tower. What do you mean trapped? Blood blocked the thick. way we came in. 
Polluted. There's a ladder at the top, this but we can't the reach it. Origins. Okay, I'll find a way to get to I you. had like three different conversations to going. The ladder at the top of the building. Maybe there's a way to cross over from the broken one next. I am so I'm sorry. I was I, I was trying to fit into two different conversations. There are a few survivors on that overlook. I should see if they're okay. Uh, also, I was like, just swim. Um, but apparently the water is thick and polluted. And we were wondering if it had something to do with, um... With the water shortage. Uh, but we've already solved the water shortage. But not really. I mean, I'm sure there's there's others. Why can't you guys just swim? Oh, water in my I mean, like, it's not pleasant, but I'm doing it, you know? Is he all right? Uh, he will be. <sighs> there. What about the others? Let me worry about that. Rest now. I'm Natika. You're a long way from the east, Outlander. You're Natika. So this must be Bleeding Mark. What's left of it? How do you know this place? The Inker's apprentice and Scalding Spear told me to find you. He was worried something happened to your supply caravan. Well, as you can see, we have more important problems than delivering ash blood. What happened here? The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half of the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. As you heard, we have many missing, but I need to keep watch on these two. I can take a look around. If I find anyone, I'll send them your way. Much appreciated. And if you see an older soldier, grim-faced, goes by Kentok, Tell him, tell him I'm here. Okay. <laughs> it's probably her dad or something. Uh, find an entrance to the broken tower. Yeah, <sighs> you would think you would notice. How, like you would hear it, like half the mountain falling down, even down in the valley, but maybe not. Hey, are there fishes in here? Although apparently the water- Hey, look at that. I do have. An ancient valuables box. I do have, um... I didn't mean- I didn't know this was up here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Something to pull. But there's also a sub- Oh no, it's just a dead order. I knew it. I knew one of those was of gonna be in here. I wonder if there's people in there. But I don't think I can get in there. I think my job is to get in here. Hey, you! I must be stuck on something else. What? And fast. Underwater, maybe. It my focus can help me search. You guys are over you guys are up there? Oh, the metal tower, there are people in there. Is that Jeez, I can't keep track of all these conversations happening simultaneously. Well what did she just I don't I don't even know what Aloy said. Why did I pull on that? God oh, dang, I can't keep track of anything. My ADD brain is like blah, blah, blah. Oh, there's something there. Oh, that's the easy way maybe because there's a ladder that they can't quite get to. Can I break that? Can I can I hit that? Will that help? I can't. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, vulnerable to projectile impact. I am projectile impacting. What more do you want me to do? My 
focus might see something. Yeah, I already saw it. I don't, I just... Should I hit the cables? Nope, apparently not. Is it gonna make me get up there? I have to do that from over there. I don't think it'll connect. What do you mean? Why? Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. Please just let me. <laughs> I really don't know what else I want you to do. I love how most of these um, things that I'm looking up when I have issues because I'm like, I can't figure out what they want from me because I've tried everything I can think of. That's usually like the second question down is like the particular thing I'm looking for. Like on this one, it's the crane. On the one, the thing I was doing earlier a couple episodes ago. I, it was the, the water valve thing, and I was, like, uh, and I was, like, looking up, like, the specific quest, and then, like, the immediate, like, the, the, that's the first response, like, the first, um, option is, like, the, just the quest name, and then the second one is always quest name plus, like, the item or object or area I'm having an issue with, and I'm, like, I'm glad it's not just me. Yeah, that or my phone is spying on me, which it is, but it's spying on me very intelligently and knows exactly what, <laughs> what I'm having issues with. Ignite the underwater fire gleam? What? It's, like, first, use the pool caster to pull out the metal beam at the base of the crane, which I did. Next, jump into the water to the left and ignite the underwater fire gleam. What? The crane will now move next to the cliff. That seems like a horrible idea. Why would I ignite something that's semi-explosive? Also, what? Oh my gosh. There's fire gleam on those rocks. Igniting it should clear the way for the crane. And, uh, how do I do that? Hmm? It's not... I... I don't... I don't... Do I... Do I use my spear? Okay. I wasn't sure if it would work under the water. Swimmy swim. Swim swim swim. Okay. No, that's so- I- I would totally love to be in the water next to that while it's moving. Oh, how did I not see that while I was looking up and not in the water? Okay, crane's in place. Now, how to lower it to reach the cliff. I should take a look at the bottom of the crane. Yeah, listen, line. we've already been here, done see that. there's a way to move it. Yeah. Looks like there's something weighing the arm down. There. If I pull out that beam, it should remove the counterweight and lower if the If this lets me do it, if I had to do it in like a specific order, I'm going to be angry. <laughs> like I guess, I guess like it's like, oh, now you have to, now you can move it. Like you couldn't move it before. Oh my gosh. Oh, so I think this, whatever this was, was covered. Because it was being covered, but I was like, how do you expect me to access it? I don't it? think I can pull the beam from here. I have to get up higher. Uh, like what do you mean? From up there? I did happen to see this while I was looking around from up there. This particular little spot. I think I was already here because of the go. chest, but you know. I did happen to notice this again. I was like, oh, oh damn it. Arm stuck on something. I better climb up and It's just look. frustrating that it was like, especially that thing up there where it was like, it's brittle. I wasted probably like 10 arrows on it. You know, it was trying to break it. And I was like, why isn't it breaking? And it obviously wanted you to do it in a specific way. I was like, oh, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose my mind again. Here I go, losing my mind. Nope. Oh, I have some of the there we go, okay. Phew, okay. 
Anyway, I was just working ahead of the problem, but still. Oh. If I detach those cables, the arm should drop the rest of the way. Yeah, of course. Now it does it. That's not safe. How did you guys get up there? Also, Blood of the tin. How'd you manage to do that? How did you people get up here? First, first off, this is a. Oh, I guess they probably had like a walkabout area up here. Okay. I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? Yeah, okay, good. A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. By the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the dead. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. I'm kind of surprised. When the mudslide hit, I saw some of the others running towards the metal towers. You might want to check there. Thanks. I'll look into it. I figure, like, for the most part, when I talk to them on an individual basis, all of them seem to refuse to leave, you know, a wounded soldier behind. But as a society, they're like, like, that's the reason those little Tanakhs were running away. The baby Tanakhs. Because... Their friend was blinded, and he wasn't going to be accepted back in their, like, society. And even the Marshall guy who we have left waiting for us, um, with his arm gone, is going to be seen as, like, lesser. But I guess, like, you know, a broken leg or arm is something that, you, that can be fixed, like, over time. You know, you can't really fix a missing limb. I mean, you can with prosthetics, but they don't have that, really, right now, so. Where else? Over there? Or am I done? Am I done, am I done saving people? Listen, I don't care about this melee pit. I don't care. Nor do I care. I have a, I still have an unknown, but the... We have the gauntlet runs. Don't care about those. Do people actually do those? Like, I'm sure you can get cool rewards from them, but, like, do people enjoy those? Because I don't. I don't enjoy the melee pits. I don't enjoy the, the freaking hunting grounds. I don't enjoy races. I don't enjoy the cultures. <laughs> it is satisfying to complete the hunting grounds, but it's kind of a slog, honestly, for me. What am I doing? The deluge. Rescue the survivors trapped in the metal tower. Yep. And the cliffs. Okay, yeah, so I need to... Is it that metal tower? Obviously. Oh, hey, there's people over there. Can I just, like, snipe... Can I snipe the machines from here? That'd be fun. Um, I don't see anyone who looked like Kentok. Maybe he's with the other survivors. Yeah, he's over there. I don't think there are any survivors on this tower. Oh, okay. Well, so is the tower you were talking about over there? Because it doesn't look like a tower very much. Hey, Outlander! These machines got us trapped up here. We lost our weapons in the mudslide. How convenient. Sit tight! I'll take care of them. We're just gonna, we're just gonna holler, we're just gonna holler about all this as I stealth around. Well, okay. I was hoping they would roll a little further. Crush them with the boulders. I shoot the support. I hate beam. you. Shut up. So I'm getting my butt kicked currently, but I can level up, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do. Uh, but this ability looks really cool. This, this valor triggers a shockwave damaging all in but this is cool also it requires three mm -hmm. I want it
That was terrifying. He started scanning right next to me, and I was like, oh my gosh. And so then I was trying to kill it, but I was like, the guy's going to see me. Like, the freaking, but I think he turned around just as I freaking did it. That was so scary. This episode has been going for an hour. <laughs> I have no idea how long. No, it's gonna be, but I've been recording for an hour. Oh, I don't know if I got it turned on in time. Dang it, that sucks. I don't think I did. I need more ammo. There we go. There. Should be safe for this knock now. We're coming down. Yeah, thanks. Good to know. Gimme. Any of you the handsome, grim, grizzled older guy? She didn't say handsome, I'm just inferring. I don't know who you are, but you saved us. Let me thank you properly. I'm glowing. Is everyone okay? Better now, without snap moths prowling around. You sure know how to fight. Well. During the storm, I think I saw some of our comrades running toward the metal towers on the west end. They might need a hand too, if you're willing. Okay, I'll check it out. Why can't anybody else do Have it but you me? Have seen Kentok? Natika asked me to keep an eye out for him. Last I saw him was before the mudslide hit. Okay. Head for the shore, on the other side of the village. Natika's there with the other survivors. Will do. Thanks again. Rescue survivors trapped in the middle tower. I don't even... I'll oh, put these in my pack. Oh my gosh. Now, at this point, I, uh, I don't know how much of this is... <laughs> is is keepable is like, if I like end it here is the video gonna be 20 minutes long you'll know but I certainly don't uh, okay I'm gonna go ahead and call it here so thank you all so much for watching uh, hopefully I can put in some interesting bits of me getting my butt kicked because those snap moths were kicking my butt it's hard to fight creatures that are a lot in water at least with the way I do things because I have to get up close to lay the traps and then hopefully I'd be a mid-range away but sometimes I'm a little too close and I get my butt kicked so thank you all so much for watching I appreciate it uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but specifically to Reese Alito, my satellite tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I really do appreciate it a lot. Thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.